Okay, you beautiful nerds, welcome back to another edition of a video. Yes, that's right, on this channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I, oh God, I do so love having y'all here. Today, y'all, I am hyped because you know what? This video right here is your favorite bitches first fully sponsored video. Y'all, we did it. It's because of you that I can make a living off of my creative, and it's because of Medicube that Derek and I can eat for a month. Kidding. Not really. <laughs> like I said, this video is a fully sponsored video, and I'd like to be upfront with that because I can't lie to you. However, although Medicube might have purchased a video from moi. It's still a Devin but better video no matter who's footing the bill. Roll credits! So let me tell you the story of my Medicube meet cute. I was at my house minding my own business. In storms my husband Wilbur in a jealous rage. When kablam! A huge package, like massive package, addressed to me, arrived at my door. And I was like, did somebody send me a small horse? I brought it inside, struggled with opening it for a second, finally got a box cutter instead of using my fingernails. And when I opened it up, I discovered a whole lot of products with the name Medicube. I was kind of turned off, if I'm gonna be honest, because I was really hoping for a pony. Also like, what kind of name is Medicube? Not to roast the brand that has entrusted me with influencer marketing or anything, Medicube. Medical is the opposite of sexy. And cubes are arguably the worst three-dimensional shape. The world, the earth is a sphere. I mean, that's four-dimensional, but like a sphere. IMO, pyramids are the best three-dimensional shape. I can't believe I have to explain this to y'all. So the box lived in my house for a couple weeks. Like it does. Then one day I was doing some cleaning and I happened upon the box again. I revisited the box and when I did, I noticed that there was a beauty tool in it. But not just any beauty tool. This was the Medicube Age R EMS device. Which, if you've been on TikTok, if your FYP is anything like my FYP, I am starting to get concerned with, um, aging. Gravity is taking its effect. Let's just say that. When I picked this device up out of the box, a love affair began. So I feel the need to stop the story right here and talk about this weird instinct I had with the Medicube products. You see my beautiful nerds with a light Google search, I would have discovered that Medicube is a highly trusted and successful Korean brand. Like they've been around the block before in South Korea and people love them. They're relatively new to the American markets. I mean, they've been around for a while, but but like Americans are just now starting to know about them. And I would have found all of this out had I done a smidgen of research. But it was my reaction, my initial reaction to the branding, the name, Medicube in general, that made me realize that I might be in a little bit of a marketing K-hole of my own making. Okay, that sounds dramatic, but let me explain. Upon further reflection and like, glancing at my own product closet, I realized that I tend to gravitate towards products that use the words organic and vegan and safe for animals and that bottles that are light green and very minimalistic in looks. You probably are familiar with the aesthetic. My beautiful nerds, I'm sure you know this, I'm an ex-crunchy girl and I still to this day get really wet if I see that a product line has rosehip oil in it. I don't know why I'm this way. But I felt like in this moment with my distrust of Medicube that I had zoomed out of myself and looked at the demographic that marketers and brands might put me in. Once I saw my own demographic, I realized that there are other kinds of brands that use other kinds of words. And I discovered that there was a whole different spectrum of products, products that take the more clinical route, like Medicube. And in those moments, it was as if I had wandered outside of my own matrix and looked back at it. She's looking back at it. Mm. So then my beautiful nerds, I decided to broaden my horizons and teach myself a lesson brought on by Medicube. Yes, that's right. I decided that I was going to be taking the Medicube Age R EMS device on a spin, a national tour, if you will. Yes, I decided to take their most acclaimed beauty tool on a trip, a vacation that Patrick and I were gonna take. Let me just map it out for you. We were gonna go from Los Angeles down to Miami, from Miami to Atlanta to visit some parents and friends. Then from Atlanta to DC to visit more parents and friends. And then from DC to Charlottesville for a wedding and then back to LA. So a little tour. Why did I decide to take this device on this national tour? Well, I'll tell you. Travel 
wrecks havoc on my skin. By the mere mention of JetBlue and Southwest Spirit Airlines, my skin immediately becomes dehydrated. Even if I wear a mask on the plane, like a beauty mask on the plane, even if I drink three gallons of water, I immediately become dehydrated, the bags underneath my eyes become incredibly pronounced, and I just look tired and old when I travel, which is the opposite of what I want on a vacation. I want to look hot. Period. <laughs> so anyways, let's cue the travel footage. Good morning. We are on day one of vacation. And good God, I am so happy, so privileged, so excited to have a little bit of a vacation. We are at a very fancy place right now. I also want to develop a Miami version of who I am. I just want a Miami hoe out. You know what, I just want to be a hoe on a boat. I just want to be a hoe on the street. I want to be a hoe on the beach. And I just want to be cute. Cute and vibes, that's it. No thoughts, just vibes. However, the thought I'm having right now is that my face is so puffy. It's that feeling where you may not be able to see it yet, but I feel it. So, let's bring out our beauty tool. Wow. So this little beauty right here is the Metacube R Derma EMS shot device. So you know all the beauty tools we've been seeing on social media recently? Like, they're they're like baby handheld machines. I'm not gonna say it because it's a sponsored video. Hey, she's sponsored, but I'm still gonna give you the real real, okay? Y'all, before we get started, let's talk about the science and the technology. This device uses something called EMS. So EMS stands for electrical muscular stimulation. What this does is it puts electricity into your skin, into the muscles, and gets them, and stimulates them so they can contract. This is in a new concept loves. We've talked about this on this channel before with face yoga and facial massage and exercises. If you haven't seen that video, if you want to scoot up. Now, because we're stimulating the muscle, you will see parts of my face twitch. That's normal. We're exercising the face. We're letting those muscles contract. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, girlies, let's get started. Now, here's the thing about these beauty tools. They are a tool, a weapon in your arsenal. We can't let these tools substitute excellent skincare and good diets and hydration. Don't forget, it's a multi-step process. Oh, let me just show you this. When I was sent all of my Medicube stuff, I noticed that I had this right here, which is the Reviving Peptide Eye Cream, and I was like, my eyes could probably revive a little bit. Now, I'm sure you'll know, but with a lot of these products, you need to use a conducting gel. This is important because it helps the electricity go through your skin, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, she tingles. So I like to put this AJR conducting gel all over my face first and on the device. The device itself has three different modes. It has slim, up and body. With each mode, you have levels of intensity. Now, I recommend starting this off really slowly. Put a little gel on this bad boy, and I'm gonna turn her on. So I'm gonna start with slim, and I'm actually gonna go into the second mode, the movement. So we'll start here. Do you see that twitch? Sometimes I just like to space out and let someone else move my muscles for me, though. It's kind of nice. Doesn't hurt. The first time it tingles and it shocks you because it's a new sensation, but it doesn't hurt. The one place it does feel a little weird is when you go over your teeth, which I'm about to do. So I like to just put my tongue over that side. Whew, feels great. Here's the thing about facial muscles. We use them in the same way all the time. We make similar expressions throughout our lives, right? That's how people know us. When you're constantly doing the same kind of muscular activity, you form wrinkles on your skin because you're constantly moving your face in the same way again and again and again. So what this does is it kind of breaks it up. It moves your face, your muscles in a different way, reinvigorating the muscle and also kind of moving out any toxins or fascia, anything you don't need, you know, anything you don't need. She also has a body mode. You don't find that on many beauty tools. So for an example, ooh, is she disrobing? Wow. This muscle right here has been in agony all day because I was yesterday traveling, so I'm gonna take this on the body mode. Oh my gosh. Beauty tools aren't cheap, right? This bad boy here, it's gonna set you back around 200, 200 ish dollars. So if you're gonna spend this much money on a beauty tool, I personally want it to work, and I kinda wanna see the results immediately. This thing packs so much of a punch, I don't even use it every day. It's kinda like working out. I do it every other day mostly, and I give myself, my face, the same kind of courtesy. And this is my after. I just feel like I have way more of a jawline. Man, if I'm gonna spend 10 minutes doing any kind of skincare ritual, I wanna do one that works, and I just feel like, God, that one works, period. Thank you so much. 
So y'all know the plan. We we're gonna go from LA to Miami, Miami to Atlanta, Atlanta to DC, DC to Charlottesville. But beautiful nerds, guess what happened? Just go ahead, take a guess. I'll wait. Yeah, that's right. Patrick got COVID. Like the little bitch. He no, I'm just kidding. No, I got COVID last time we did a national tour. It only seems fair that Patrick would get COVID this time. So now, that's right. We're stuck. Stranded in DC. We are at Patrick's family's house. It's very nice. I'm drinking tea. I can't complain because I don't have the COVID. Patrick has his COVIDs. 2022 has been hectic. On this trip alone, my boyfriend got COVID. A flight got canceled. We lost hours of sleep. Travel was insane. And yet, my skin looks great. <laughs> Traveling in 2022, woo, boy howdy, it is not easy. She's thriving. And I can't help but wonder if it's because this Metacube Age R EMS device. I wonder if it's because I went out on a limb and tried a different kind of product. I even asked my audience on Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you really should because that's where I drop the most exclusive Mars and Bones footage and content. Now, we had just landed in Washington, D.C. I felt stressed and blessed, but kind of stressed. And I asked my audience, like, when you are traveling and you're experiencing your breakout or your dehydration or whatever, and you have an opportunity to go to a pharmacy and pick up a product when you're in a skincare crisis, what do you usually gravitate towards? 70% of my audience, 1,500 votes, give or take, they gravitate more towards clinical, scientifically branded products. 30% of my audience said that they gravitate towards more organic, chic products, about 500 votes. Looking back, I think I probably would have phrased this question differently because I think people got hooked on the idea of a skincare crisis. So now I'm asking y'all, where do you fall in the spectrum of like organic, natural products versus clinical products? Tell me in the comments below because I'd love to hear. I tell you this long Metacube meat cute story because the brands, they know who you're loyal to, and they know how to deviate their message in order to lure you in. Consider the brand Neutrogena. In America, Neutrogena is a product that's been around the block before. She's been around. I mean, she's probably older. Like, let's look it up. When, how old is Neutrogena? So Neutrogena has been around in America since the 1930s. And when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, Neutrogena was very much known for like their tea gel, very clinically advertised products. Cut to now, Neutrogena has all of these different offshooting brands, including their Neutrogena natural line. I tell you the Neutrogena story so that you know that brands are pivoting in order to lure in more people despite whatever they gravitate to. They're broadening their horizons so they can broaden their consumer power. So it's good to know what you gravitate towards when you're not thinking, how you want to maybe deviate from that and become more flexible or open to a certain product or ingredient. Because I think this thought experiment of examining what you gravitate towards in any products, but most like skincare, I think it teaches you the influence that you personally have in your purchasing power. I say this, I also say this because the content that you might be seeing on my channel might be de deviating a little bit as far as like lifestyle content. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you girlies, I'm 33. And so my interest in anti-aging products has gone a spiked in the past couple of years. And as I start on this anti-aging journey, I'm realizing that no amount of rosehip oil is gonna save me from the effects of gravity. So I feel like this lesson came just at the right time. Thank you so much to Medicube for sponsoring this video and for letting me dive down this rabbit hole. Also letting me try out their products because y'all, huh, I'm hooked. That's it for me, you beautiful nerds. Thank you so, so much for watching my first ever fully sponsored video. I really appreciate you with trusting me with your time and attention. I know sometimes with sponsored videos, people are like, mm, no, but I really appreciate you going on this ride with me. I love you, you beautiful nerds, and I'll see you next week.